Hello guys, my name is Naprit Singh and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to tell you that whether you should choose the college quarantine plan or you should have your own private quarantine plan. First of all, uh, the thing is, what is a quarantine plan? Okay, most of you guys already know it, but still I have to explain what is it. So uh, whenever you arrive in Canada, what happens is you are required to go in a 14 day quarantine plan. In that what happens is you just stay inside of a room uh, with a washroom and then you have to just stay there. You can do a bunch of chores like you can uh, stay there, you can attend your classes, you have direct access to the internet, you can just search about that, that's it. You cannot go outside of your quarantine location. So now the question is why it is required. It is required because if there are any symptoms of coronavirus inside you, so it usually takes 14 days to show. Okay, if, for example, if you if you are infected, then you may not show the symptoms at the first day, at the second day, but after 14 days, it is sure you now possess the coronavirus. So in order to find out that, you need to have a quarantine plan. But if you do not have, then still you must have a quarantine plan. You must undergo it. And what happens is you are now given two options, whether to choose a plan of a college. And the second is whether you should choose your own. So most of the people are confused that what they should choose, a college one or their own. So the colleges which have approved COVID-19 readiness plan, so they are they now offer you various packages like they can uh, give you a lot of uh, options where you can stay in your 14 day quarantine period like they there are some hotels or sometimes there are rooms inside of the college and for that you must have to pay a certain amount along with tax or that is uh, sometimes gst sometimes it is hst so what happens in a college quarantine plan is like uh, you are given various options for example pick up from the airport then accommodation then uh, regular meals so the me for the meals you, you may have to pay extra sometimes it is included in your package so the this package of your accommodation and meal may go anywhere from 90 dollars plus taxes to 150 or 200 dollars plus taxes uh, that depends upon your uh, chosen choice and that is per night okay that is just for one day and you just have to multiply it by 14 and that is your final cost of your whole 14 day quarantine plan you get access to the meals you get access to the wi-fi you get access to the microwave you get access to a refrigerator and the similar things which you can uh, which you need for your stay Okay, remember that you uh, you do not always get the laundry option with yourself. So you must have the clothes which you can go for like a 14 day period. And uh, then you have the option to uh, ask for the food. You can order it from uh, any of the local applications which are available, available uh, at your place. And then you can just order something which you would, whatever you want to eat. They will just put it at your doorstep and you have to pay them uh, most probably with a credit card and before the delivery. This seems like a very expensive option for a lot of people and they still want to try for a less expensive personal quarantine plan or private quarantine plan. So uh, they can have it. Okay, There is no restriction that you should always have a college given quarantine plan. You can apply for a different quarantine plan that is a private quarantine plan. Okay, So that is uh, a really feasible thing for a lot of people you must have a couple of things in your favor to go for the private quarantine plan so if you go to the canada.ca the first thing which you should have is you must have access to the necessities of life without leaving your place of quarantine it means you must have your clothes you must have your personal things for example the soaps toothbrush toothpaste like these kind of things and, and you must have the groceries for the 14 days of period. You can order it uh, like a per day basis or a per week basis. That totally depends upon you. And you must have a separate washroom with yourself. And a separate bedroom. 
and you must have to limit your interaction with the people if you are living in a closed space and if you cannot uh, maintain a two meter distance then you should wear a mask on the face so uh, this thing uh, is must be uh, separate from all the people who are living with you okay sometimes we call our friends or relatives that we are coming into canada and we need a place to live so um, for that reason you must have a separate bedroom attached and attached washroom okay you you must not enter in an enclosed space with the people who are living beside you and one more thing that you should never ever leave your place of quarantine because if you do then you you then upon finding out that you have left your uh, place of quarantine you may have to face a huge fine of seven hundred fifty thousand dollars with six months of prison time so if you do not want that then i would really recommend you to please avoid it and please be sincere and complete your 14 day quarantine time because if you don't then you may end up in a serious trouble after that uh, quarantine period is over you will be asked to have a covid 19 test and if you're negative then it is good to go you can go out otherwise you uh, your 14 day additional quarantine plan will again kick it up and then you have to stay over there again so that is the whole thing about the college thing college quarantine plan and the private quarantine plan if you want more details about it then please put in a comment and please give a thumbs up to this video so that more people can watch that video so tomorrow i am going to publish a video about how to choose a college and what is a postgraduate work permit okay so please stay tuned that's all for today thank you